I fill my phone up with all these videos and my husband says, now that's why you have no memory. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So I have to go through and delete a bunch of stuff. But you know, when you get updates on your phone, then they, they include all this stuff you never use. I don't get it. I, I'm serious. There are like 25 applications on my phone I never use. I have no idea what they are, but they're taking up space. Kind of makes me mad. You know, I think they should ask me if I want that on my phone. <laughs> I'm just fortunate to have one, I suppose. I can have my little rain. Oh, that's so pretty out there. There's somebody out there on a kayak or something. such a beautiful day for a kayak although I'd probably flip over and drown because I don't know how I've heard that happening now basically we're just going to walk down the pave trail for a while because I wanted to show you some water because on the other side you have to walk a long way through some grass stuff to get to the water. And so this way, we're just gonna walk a little way. They say you have to stay on the trail because there's poison oak. I had poison oak once when I was little. It was terrible. Really terrible. Oh, that smells good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. If you could only feel the wind as it skims across my skin, you would know how truly beautiful this is. You can see it move the leaves over there. I'm going to hold the floor right for a little while. Let's see this travel. See, there's a little, there's a little blue bin up there. No, we're not going to, we're not going to look at that. It's a good thing to have there. But we're not going to go there. Let's go down here. This is an area, this is an area where if there are boaters going down the river at night, they can camp here. They have a little fire pit and there's also a garbage can down there. That road we were on earlier over there uh, actually goes all the way down here. And so they can park their little boats or canoes or whatever and they can just camp right there and have a little fire, enjoy the river. Isn't that nice? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice, folks. Now, it's my belief, it's my belief that there is a little critter living in that hole there. See that hole? I think there's something living in there. All right. Okay, let me pause for a minute. 
So once again, I want to show you, see that big tree there? That's that big tree I showed you the other day from a different view. Oh, one with the little arms that go out like that. Isn't that magnificent? Yes, it is. We won't go there though. Because I should, what I, what I ought to do is I ought to go home and I ought to do dishes. It's been a while. You know, when you get in the grand funk of things, get all funky in the head, and you start focusing, ooh. And you start focusing on, I don't know, really, if you're even focusing. For me, it was kind of like I was just kind of spinning. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go this way. So, so anyway, it's been a while since I've done the dishes. For Fortunately, my husband has been doing them like the good man that he is. Such a good man. You know, he puts up with me. <laughs> my friend that I've known for 30 years, he says, you know, he, he loves me. I've known him 30 years and Rich and I have been married since 2008 and so he likes Richie. The main reason he likes Richie is because he has what it takes <laughs> to put up with me. I'm not all that bad. I think I'm pretty great most times. I try not to be, you know, anything other than that but then just because you know I said that just now some folks may think that I'm egotistical or something well you know I tried to tell you try to tell y'all it's part of the nature I try to tone it down I really try to work on that I think I'm successful a lot of the time. Now those, I believe, are stinging nettles. Bunch of bunch of stinging nettles. Don't touch them. Don't go running through the stinging nettles. Now I did that when we first moved out into the woods. Okay. Oh, 1979. I didn't know what a stinging nettle was. Nobody told me what a stinging nettle was. I just thought it was a plant. Just look at that. Is this a plant? But that's a stinging nettle and you walk up on that, it's like a bee sting. Only you get them all over because there's, it's a tall plant and there's, there's these little stingers all over the place. I think it's one of the things that helps protect the things of the forest. Yeah. Anyway, I did that one time. <laughs> oh, it hurt so bad. Just like a bee sting. Just like a bee sting. Only there wasn't anything. No relief. Nothing. You, I had to wait for hours. Hours for it to stop hurting. Oh, it hurt so bad. White. They, you get these white bumps. I mean, they're this really big white and they hurt. Oh, don't go walking through those. Okay, if you come in the Northwest, don't do that. Well, anyway, our trip is almost over because I'm going to hang right here. Oh, beautiful tree. Not oh, great. 